Nathaniel Hone's portrait of the courtesan Kitty Fisher epitomizes the battery-pushing tendency of an artist working during a period that had become increasingly dominated by a new setting in which to view works of art, the public art exhibition. Displayed at the Society of Artists in 1765, Hone's portrayal of the notorious courtesan would not have gone unnoticed. Indeed, in such a hotly contested environment as the exhibition space, an artwork can only succeed by arresting the attention of exhibition goers. With Hone's picture, viewers would certainly have had much to look at and admire. The associ association of Kitty Fisher with a predatory cat blooming over the goldfish bowl must have been unmistakable to the curious onlooker. <clears throat> While Hone certainly would have pleased the public in his use of this clever visual pun, more discerning eyes may have gleaned the significance behind a subtle but integral detail that can be found in the portrait, the reflection of a window with onlookers and the goldfish bowl. As I will show later in this presentation, this detail informs our understanding of the perils of Kitty Fisher's notoriety that Hone was eager to acknowledge. Furthermore, it is my belief that the reflection of the window in the goldfish bowl is evocative of Dutch still life painting. The influence of Dutch art on Hound's output was considerable, and this set him apart from other artists and critics at the time. Indeed, the empirical observation on displaying the portrait was likely directed toward, towards one of Hound's principal rivals and cause celebre in literature on Hound, Sir Joshua Reynolds. It is my theory that Hound's portrait of Katie Fisher is emblematic of his distaste for Reynolds' portraits of courtesans and his aesthetic system known as the Grand Style. <clears throat> 